whenever I'm working on a Rails project, uh, one thing that I cannot uh, live without is the documentation. And uh, if you look at API Ruby on Rails .org, uh, that's uh, basically the documentation for the uh, Rails 2.3x. But the problem is, the most of uh, my project these days are based on Rails 3. Uh, and I don't know where they are. So basically, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to generate your own set of documentation for this. The first thing that I need to do is go to the GitHub and check out the latest Rails uh, repository. So what I will do is copy that and uh, clone it into my local computer. Go into that directory and update the bundler gem, just in case. Next thing I need to do is actually install all the necessary gems for Rails itself. Uh, and this time I need to do, do it uh, without DB. And if you don't do that, uh, you will look for uh, Postgres and all the other lovely stuff and uh, your, your bundle install will fail. All we have to do is do rake rdoc and it will generate the necessary documentation just like the one that you saw there. So this takes a while, so be patient. Once it's completed, go to the doc directory, and under that there you'll see a rdoc directory, and uh, that's where the files are. What I will do is I'll move my directory and, and move it to desktop and rename it. When you open the directory, you'll see that there's an index.html file, and that's all you have to open, and you have the documentations right there. Another set of useful tools that I found was the Rails guide. And as you can see, when you go to guys.rubyonrails.com, you see this wonderful guide that's been written by many uh, contributors. However, it appears to me that I don't know if it's just me, but uh, this site goes down rather frequently. So I like to have this locally so I could access it every time when I'm developing. The first thing I have to do is actually create a uh, new Rails application. And uh, to do that, the Rails new and Rails guide this time. and go into the directory and edit uh, gem file and there I need to include a red cloth gem and save it and then do bundle install and all I have to do is do rake doc colon guides and they will generate the guide in the doc directory. And same thing with the API document. Uh, when I open that uh, index.html and I get this and as you can see it's running locally. That was wonderful! Bravo! I loved that! Oh, it was great! Well, it was pretty good. Well, it wasn't bad. Well, there were parts of it that weren't very good, it though. It could have been a lot better. I didn't really like it. It was pretty terrible. It was bad. It was awful! It was terrible! Get him away! Hey, boo! Boo! 